Hey everybody, it's John and Steve with Solitude Returns. Uh, we just got through doing a little bit of rehearsal. Uh, we're getting ready for something that's coming up. I can't remember what it is exactly. Oh my uh, goodness, yes. What is it? Yeah, my goodness, yeah. I think it's a, a the Heroes of of somewhere. Heroes of Hades. Hades, that's he, it. Hades Heroes Festival coming up in the Hades Heroes. Something like that. Anyway, no. <laughs> listen, man, we're really excited. Uh, we just got through rehearsing a little bit. Uh, we're getting ready for Hell's Heroes next March. Uh, it's a epic freaking show that's being put together. Massive uh, event, yeah. If you haven't been to a yeah. Hell's Heroes show, you yeah. golly, don't, you know, check, check it out is, for uh, us. But yeah, yeah it's yeah, a great. Little, little lip service to those yeah. guys. I mean, Hell's Heroes is an awesome festival that awesome. we've got here in the States. Really, uh, truly kind of um, represents uh, uh, a true festival atmosphere that, like you'd get over in Europe. You know, um, it's just a great festival. And it's happening right here in our own backyard in Houston. <clears throat> and we are so fortunate that we've been asked to play this. Uh, so we've taken the invite. And Solitude's coming back for one show. So far, we've got one show and one show only, and that's next March. Uh, in addition to uh, playing with Steve Mosley, uh, we've got the original lineup uh, together. And this is going to be a unique event because we have Steve with us, who is part of the new lineup, I suppose, with the new lineup from 20 years ago. But, 20, uh, 27. Yeah. <laughs> so he's the new guy coming <laughs> in in 1998. Year. But, uh, yeah. uh, this is going to be interesting, uh, uh, kind of a challenge, but also interesting. We're going to have three guitars on this show on the, and um, it'll be Edgar Rivera back with us, Steve Mosley and myself. So it's going to be a triple assault of uh, doom metal guitar work. So, certainly there. unique. <laughs> it, it, not not anything like we, we've done before. Yeah. Uh, we've never rehearsed uh, with this uh, kind of lineup or even thought with uh, any kind of a similar lineup, so it's definitely going to be a, a unique uh, experience. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward game. to it. It's just going to be just like in the true Spinal Tap <laughs> tradition. It'll just be one heavier, you know. One heavier. One heavier. Right. We've got one extra guitar. We're going to 11 on this show. All right, so we're really excited <laughs> about it. We really appreciate uh, being asked to play this. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be uh, good to get Solitude Attorneys back together. I know there's a lot of people been asking me for a few years now about this, so if you're hearing this, this is the time uh, to come see us. It'll be a uh, It'll be your opportunity to see us play uh, on a good stage, a great festival. I got—I can't say enough about all the bands that are on this festival. Every single band listed on this festival is at the very least an excellent band and great at what they do. I'm excited just as a fan to be going to this too. And so it's gonna be really awesome. We hope to see many of you guys there in March. Uh, also of interest is uh, we will be re-releasing something that has come out before, but not like this. Uh, this is going to be called The Hour of Despair. It's a live recording from our show we did in Poland many years ago. Steve, what yep. year was that? Quite, quite a few 2006, years back. 2006, 7, I don't remember. <coughs> I believe it was 2007. Okay, <coughs> excuse I, me. I should have thought about that before we started talking. But. Yeah, but it, it, was a, it was a great show. We had a great experience. Uh, John can tell you more about uh, the venue and uh, the gentleman that brought us over there who is no longer with us. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. it was an amazing experience, but the, the highlights, we'll talk about it more on another episode. Right. But uh, for right now, suffice to say that uh, we had this, this audio uh, worked up uh, and we felt good about it, sent it back to him. Oh, by the way, we did the production here uh, from the recordings there uh, in Poland, uh, did the production here uh, in Ooh. Dallas, sent it over to him. Everything was sounding great. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I might got it back. I, I may interject here because <coughs> yeah, what Steve's leading up to for those what we're talking about is also the DVD that was released, yep. uh, our one and only video that we've ever done concert video. Uh, and what Steve was about to finish saying before I interrupted him is that uh, we had mixed this recording uh, of which they were going to release a live record from it. They did, but true to again Spinal Tap and Black Sabbath fashion. What sounded great to us in the studio here in Dallas, uh, once they got it and once it was released, it didn't sound anything like it. And it, so much so that I have basically couldn't even listen to it. It's tough to listen for me to listen to it. So what we have done, or what I should say Steve and uh, the team of experts has done, is taken that recording and it's a, it's a whole new approach to it. This is an absolutely killer sounding live uh, release that we're going to be coming out with. Uh, I think we'll leave it at that. Just know this is this is going to be. Uh, y you've heard the video probably, or seen it. Some of the Solitude fans. So just know that the audio that comes out of this is going to sound the way it was supposed to sound in the first place. So the single from that drops on January first. Uh, we're going to drop a single from that. Sightless. It'll be on all the streaming platforms, uh, and then it'll come out uh, full length 
March the 1st of next year. And uh, it'll be on all streaming platforms and also be available physically at that time too. So keep your eyes and ears out for that, guys. I, I can't tell you how great this sounds. Steve worked really hard on, on uh, re, uh, redoing everything from the ground floor up on this recording. So now finally, the only live recording we have of ourselves actually sounds like it should sound. It sounds heavy. Yeah, so just a, just a quick little details about it. You know, <clears throat> uh, the guys I worked with on that uh, here in the studio uh, in, in Middle Othian, Texas, <clears throat> and I'll talk more about that on another episode. But uh, we did spend quite quite some time, uh, you know, going through it with a fine tooth comb. No new audio was added. We uh, we don't want to call it a remaster. We don't want to call it a remix. We don't want to call it. It's just a deluxe edition. We've taken the audio and kind of like John said, just uh, kind of put it where it was supposed to be uh, right. to begin with. Uh, but the added benefit being uh, so many years later uh, that we've got uh, you know, a better sounding. Uh, you know, bass frequencies and, and, you know, just a lot of things to consider with modern production. So uh, it, it's a good sounding uh, record, we think, uh, especially compared to other live stuff. Uh, but uh, as John mentioned, we, we don't have anything live other than that out there officially. Right. And uh, so, so that's a good thing. And it, it, yep. it encompasses uh, all the, all the uh, back catalog discography from, uh, from the band as well. So right. something so to look forward to. Very much looking forward to that. We <clears> haven't had anything new. Uh, obviously from the band for many years but so guys keep your eyes uh, and ears peeled for that January 1st dropping the single March 1st the entire record and then also don't forget about Hell's Heroes that's what we're on here for to kind of promote both these things and talk to you guys about it we'll be back with some more uh, tidbits and info and we're gonna have a few rehearsals obviously before then we might drop in on you guys uh, have a sneak peek we got some of the original guys come back into the mix we got Count Lyle uh, Johnny Boy Covington, and of course Robert Lowe going to be coming in, and we'll be doing some uh, full band rehearsals here in a, a few weeks, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, it's been a long time, guys, so uh, thanks so much for sticking with us, all the Solitude fans that are out there. It's really great. It seems to be more of them now than ever. Look forward to seeing you guys next year, and look forward to seeing you guys again here on another podcast coming up really soon with some more information and perhaps a few uh, little clips of us doing some rehearsals. So Yeah, thanks, we'll try guys. to put some, some yep. clips together and uh, get some uh, other other folks in here with uh, additional podcasts. I uh, wanted to just take a moment to say, sorry it took us so long to get back to you. I'm not sorry. He is, though. But I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine with so, the fact it's taken this long to get we're, back. We're, we're going to uh, try to uh, <laughs> get some regular updates yep. instead of taking uh, months at a time. Uh, since we do have the show coming up. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. More importantly, uh, if you're curious about uh, anything, all things Solitude, you can find us at Solitude Origins. Right, solitudeorigins.com uh, website, finally up for the band. We'll be adding more content and uh, doing some more stuff with that over the next several months, obviously. But uh, yeah, be sure to go uh, check out Solitude Origins. And obviously hit like and subscribe to our pages that are all across the internet. But again, guys, thanks so much, man. We look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Uh, as always, uh, just, you know, keep it heavy, please. Yep. Stay heavy. <laughs>